Hey now. Those are really good. And turtle pod. Wow. We figured we were all in. Might as well get that too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, hello travelers. Me and Michelle have come to the boathouse today for lunch. And we're gonna give the boathouse a try. And Michelle has talked me into one of the items I don't eat is oysters. The waitress actually suggested we get oysters Rockefeller to start off with, cause I've never had oysters raw or anything like that. So we have ordered some oysters, but we're also going to look at the menu to see what else they may have to offer us. Michelle, are you ready for these oysters? I am ready. She's very knowledgeable. Oh. She's very helpful. Yeah. She made us feel good about ordering these. Um, lo lo these um, <laughs> what do we have? Uh, the oysters. The oysters got to well, make me I've never had them raw. Have you ever had them I've never the had show? them raw. I don't I have, think so, I've no. I've had them in a soup, and I've had them fried. Okay. But I've never tried one. But... But this isn't raw, of course. Right, it's this isn't raw, this is good. cheese and things on it, so it'll be a good intro. And if we like it, maybe we might get a raw oyster just to try it raw. I'm not quite sure yet. I already but. know what I'm going to get. Oh, you, you do? Say? What are you getting? I'm going to try the Sandwich King, because you said it was Hamburger Day. It is so. National Hamburger Day today. So it is, try the what's Gibson the date today? Is it the 27th? Maybe. It is the 28th today, and I may go with the jumbo lump, no, the grilled mahi tacos, or the, um, the yacht club club. So, we're going to take a look at this. When you come to the boathouse, it is in Disney Springs, of course, right beside, it's right in the middle of Disney Springs, on the lake. It's a gorgeous area. It's got a ton of dining options inside. So you can sit at the bar. There's several rooms that they've broken the restaurant up into. And there's a ton of outdoor seating. Today, it's a beautiful 96 degrees outside. So we chose to sit inside. Notice the beautiful wine cabinet behind me. But when they, when you first sit down, we've of course got our drinks already, Coke and a water. But they bring you these beautiful rolls right here. And they are absolutely fantastic. Got my roll already buttered, but you can tell there's a glaze on top of it, and it's a sweet glaze, and they're and they're so oh, they're just so fluffy, and they're I love these rolls here at the boathouse. That soft butter inside of them, and it's nice and salty. It's a salted soft butter, but then with the sweet coating on top of these rolls, these are perfect, and they're all you care to dine on. So if you finish one plate, go ahead and get some more. So our adventure into oysters will begin with the Lucky Duck Duxbury Bay, Massachusetts oysters. They're normally $4 each, or if you get a half dozen, they're $22. Today we got them Rockefeller, which they charge a dollar per oyster, so it'll be an extra $6. So it'll be $28 for the half a dozen Rockefeller oysters that we have ordered today. The Lucky Duck Duxbury Bay, Massachusetts Oyster is crowned and harvested exclusively for the boathouse. Medium, cri medium size, crisp brine, clean finish, and a buttery texture. And it's the buttery texture that got us on this menu and our server said, if we're gonna start out, this would be the best oyster to start off with. Okay, so they brought out our oysters and they really smell and look fantastic. 
Look at these. These are the oyster Rockefellers right there. Oh, they smell good. They really do smell good. Really? I cannot wait to try that. I love spinach anyway, so spinach is one of my favorite. Of course, Parmesan cheese. Everybody loves Parmesan cheese, I think. But me and Michelle are going to try these. My first experience into oysters. Right there. Looks really it's cute. It's hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. She said to scoop it out. Oh, you can smell that. Oh, that smells wonderful. Mm. You can smell like the ocean. I know the oysters are in salt water. I know that. But they really do smell good. So we're going to try these. Hey now. Those are really good. And there's a little bit left in the cup. She said to suck that out. Okay. When they say a buttery finish, they are absolutely correct. It is like eating butter. That little piece I just had out of the shell. What do you think, Michelle? She's nodding her head. These are really good. They're really super good. These are, yeah. These, um, I'm shocked. They're not like oystery at all. Like no. Not, like you can taste a little bit. But, but you can still taste the salt water and the ocean in it. Very fresh. God, these are good. The lemon juice made it really good. Did it? I'll try it with lemon. She tried it with lemon. I did not. So this next one, I am going to try with lemon. I'm almost as... Oh, man. Next time we come to the boathouse, we will definitely have to get a dozen of these. Okay. And I know these have been cooked. So you know what? I think I'm going to order two raw oysters. Just so we can get the full experience while we're here. I think that's what we're going to do. I have been missing out many and many a year on eating those. Those are fantastic. Can't wait to try the raw. That's going to be different, but we're definitely going to try them. I think we're going to take a shell home <laughs> for a souvenir to say this was the first time we tried oysters, and they were really good. These are so good. I have licked the shell. These are fantastic. Okay, I love finding new foods. This is just so fun. And know that Michelle likes them too, so we know when we go out. Yeah, go ahead and put some lemon on there. Lemon does add a little extra to that, so that was good. Got a different hair stew today, dude. <laughs> I went the different way for some stupid reason. Just wanted to mention our server, Shante, is knowledgeable. She pretty much walked us through the oyster ordering process. She nailed it. She's fantastic. I was just talking to some fellow travelers, and they delivered our raw oysters. Apparently they come with a, what is that, a little bit of butter? Looks um, like it. I don't know what that, or is I that? Don't know. I don't know what that is. We'll have to ask Chante before we eat these. They have um, a cocktail sauce with a little bit of horseradish in there. I know that some people put it on a cracker. Cracker. I don't know, I don't know how to eat So we're going to ask Chante when she comes back to see how they eat these. Because we want this first experience to be a great experience. I have never had raw oysters in 55 years of life. All right, so we're going to try. A little lemon so we're prepping them with a little lemon juice right now. It's you can put some on mine like too. But that, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, the lemon juice is going to kick it. Mm. I'm going to put a little cocktail and yeah, horseradish on mine. Yeah, that'll be just enough for me to see I'm just going to do a little. Yeah, I think you like Oh my God, please don't. It's different. I don't want to gag. Thank you so much, Sean. It's Shanta. just a different experience. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cheers, Michelle, on our oyster eating. Cheers. First time in 55 years we have both had oysters. Wait, is, did you loosen the bottom? Oh, I got to loosen it. Well, I, I know you have to do that. Okay. Okay, it is. Yeah, it's loosened. Yeah, Can it's already loosened. It? Here we go. You can oh chew my God, it too. It's very like oystery. Oh, yeah. This is the ocean. All right, it's just one small oyster. Ready to go. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Michelle did not like those. I enjoyed it. Ugh, I enjoyed it. 
She. <laughs> oh my God, I need a bath bag. No, she's good. She's good. That tastes like no. the ocean. That like I just pushed it's it right out of the ocean. It's not what I thought it was going to be, but it's definitely. I should have just went right on down and not waited. You tried to. You That's tried to chew it. That you can't. You can't <laughs> wait. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not bad though. It's not bad. I like the Rockefellers better. We'll stick with the okay, Rockefellers. Well, now, so you but said they're definitely fresh. Like but they'll fry good. them and they'll. We can fry well, them. Fry we, can, we can bake them. We can steam them. Okay. And you can, and when you bake them, like the Rockefeller is a type of baked oyster, but you can do them different kind of ways. You can put all kinds of toppings on them. Oh, okay. The ones them, those were yeah. those yeah. weren't bad. I mean, I, I didn't know. mind it at all. But coming from the Rockefeller to that, it was yeah, like different. two different juxtapositions. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that that literally tastes. But it tastes clean. Yeah, it's, it's not a dirty taste. Yeah, I was thinking, you know. Fresh oysters will have a very clean. Yeah, they taste the really clean, clean. Like I just picked it out of the ocean. Oh, gosh, and those are mine. just for you guys. Yes, the, the Lucky Ducks are only harvested and grown for this particular restaurant. So you won't find these anywhere else. But anywhere you go, they have all kinds of oysters. Those are good. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for helping us experience that. <laughs> so there you go. We tried our first raw oysters and monster We'll first, stick with them. Yeah, yeah Michelle's last one. I may get them again, but the Rockefellers were fantastic, so we'll try those. The entrees have come, and here is Michelle's burger right here. Look at this burger. Since it's National Burger Day, she decided to get a burger. Look at that. I gotta come around the car. Look at that. Right there. It smells good, too. I think it's a little spicy, though, because it's got, um, let's see what Michelle got here. The Gibson Sandwich King award-winning burger, which is $20. It is crispy cherry peppers, spicy mayo, jalapeno, jalapeno, Havarti. Havarti. Uh, that's the cheese. It's Havarti cheese. Lettuce, tomato, and onions. And it, it is served with fries, I've just seen there. I got the Yacht Club Club right there. And look at that. That is huge. I like that. Actually, the cheese smells really good on that. Let me see what that is. It's also served with fries. It is the Yacht Club Club, which is $17.50. And it's roasted turkey breast, cucumbers. Ooh, didn't see that on there. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado. I'm not a big fan, but I'm going to try it. Chipotle honey mayo, Swiss cheese, and multigrain bread, which is one of my favorite breads to eat. So. This is going to be interesting. This is a little bit different spin on the club here at the Boathouse. Okay, I'm going to give the fries a try. And I really like the fries because they're like extra crispy and stringy. And the way they fry them, they're not a hard crispy. I know this sounds ridiculous, but they're like a soft crispy. It's a limpy, but it's still crispy. But they're really good here at the Boathouse. Because it's a big ring, I think. It's okay. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna eat the onion. It's a big ring. No, I'm good. I'm gonna eat the onion. Oh, this burger smells great. And this is a blend. What did she sell us a blend? It doesn't say on there. Um, brisket and something. I think it's brisket and ground chuck, but I'll find out. There you go. Yeah. So that's the burger right there. Nice and moist and juicy. Mm. Sorry, got you so very tasty. Even the onion's not that bad off of that. I think they're starting to grow on me. No, I'm good there. That's really good. That oh, that was very tasty. So I've had my burger for National Burger Day. Okay, so here's my club. The Swiss, the bacon, the turkey. There's the cucumber and the avocados. You know I'm not a huge avocado fan, but that's how the chef intended it. That's how we're going to eat it. Mm. So right off the bat, the turkey and the bacon hit you. But the freshness of the cucumber really adds a nice flavor to that sandwich. What about the avocado? The avocado really couldn't taste much, 
but the cucumbers like right in the middle of the sandwich so that you really get a bite here take a bite see that's a good club isn't it this is really tasty the bacon's very crispy yeah this is really good I think Michelle will already have shown this in the video at some point. But this is the menu here. That's, a, But then you turn it over. And this is all the libations that you can get here at the boathouse. Quite a many of them. By the way, they bring you the dessert menu right here. Like that right there. But once again, on the back side is more libations for your dessert right there. So you can always drink here at the old boathouse. Okay, Travers. I, you know, first of all, I'd like to apologize to everyone because the way I describe stuff, there are no avocados uh, on this sandwich. It is an avocado chipotle honey mayo. Sometimes, if I could just learn to read, it would be great. But that's what tastes so good on this sandwich. So that's why I said there's no taste of avocado because there are no avocados. Okay, since we've had such a wonderful meal here at the Boathouse, we decided to top it off with a little dessert. You know me, desserts. We got the macadamia turtle pie. Serves two. It is $20. Might as well. We've had a lot um, oysters. Might as well get the $20 piece of pie. It is Homer's vanilla ice cream, chocolate, and caramel sauce. And we can't wait to see this. We're going to go with the turtle pie. <laughs> We're gonna try it. Remember, I told you. I know, you did. Angie said I couldn't finish it. We could be here a while. There we go. Okay. Don't, don't look at me like that. So, I told you. Shantae. I, I told you. How huge it is. Shantae, sashayed her way over here with our piece of pie. And this That's not a piece is of pie. a piece of pie. That's a piece of watermelon. There you go. Right there. Big old dog. Yeah. Yeah. Is that key? It serves two. Wait, is it key? It's um, the macadamia turtle pie. Oh, wow. We figured we were all in. Might as well get that too. Yeah, exactly. And it's all ice cream. Awesome. So here we go. We're going to give this a try. There you go, honey. Have me some pie. <laughs> okay, Shantae just came back. Gave us a little information on our piece of pie here. It is macadamia nuts, and it is a macadamia nut crust on the bottom with the caramel and the chocolate. It's really good. But apparently, they have a baked Alaska here that is a special order request. It's a pre-order. It's a pre-order, so you got to know about it. So the next time we come here, I'm getting the baked Alaska but this is really good. It's a ton of ice cream. It's probably a half gallon ice cream, easy. Me and Michelle have done the best we can on a, this dessert. <laughs> this is it. This is how much we got left. We haven't even touched had, like, this side. The front corner. Yeah, no, we didn't even touch this side. <laughs> it's like a fresh piece of pie there. <laughs> but luckily, you know us guys, we only live 10 minutes away here. So we're actually gonna take this home with us. We're not gonna waste it. Take it home with us and enjoy this tonight. So we'll go ahead and go over the check with you folks. <laughs> this is Michelle's favorite part of the video. The Cokes were $4 a piece, which makes them $8. The Oyster Half Dozens was $22. Then we add Rockefeller, since we made them Rockefeller, that's a dollar a piece, so that's an additional $6. The Gibson Burger was $20. The Yacht Club Club was $17.50. The, oy the two raw oysters that we got were $4 a piece because we had to try raw oysters today. And of course, the turtle pie was $20. Um, our subtotal was $101.50. After the discount was $91.35. And after everything is said and done with gratuity is $115.56 because when they give you a discount, they add the gratuity back into it. So, actually... It's a pricey lunch, but it was well worth it today for the experiences that we had with the oysters and the dessert. So I feel pretty good about that. We've got a souvenir 
oyster shell from our very first oysters that we tried here tonight, <laughs> today. That so we remember all the That money we spent remember, on yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Rockefellers were much better than the Raw. We will stick with the Rockefellers, but we're taking this home too as a souvenir for us. All in all, this was a fantastic meal at the boathouse. Shantae was great. The food was great. The atmosphere is great. Just a great place to come have lunch. We've got a great view, but it's nice and cold in here because of the air conditioning. So, travelers, if you ever get a chance to come to Disney Springs and try the boathouse, definitely give it a try. And until next time, travelers, like we always say, travel and adventure is out there.